Hello everyone and welcome to this small update from the single cell community in Galaxy. In this short talk, we will cover the background of single cell analysis as well as the existing materials and workflows and upcoming trainings. So here we see the typical analysis structure for single cell and it accommodates both custom pre-processing protocols such as CellSeq2 used initially by the RTG as well as STRT-Seq, SmartSeq2 and many others that require manual demultiplexing. So here, fast queue data from the batches are being multiplexed into individual cells, either as separate fast queues or one large file with annotated headers. And these are then mapped to yield individual feature counts for each cell, which are then joined into a large table which gives the feature count matrix. For one-click mapping and quantification platforms such as 10x Genomics, the demultiplexing, mapping and union of matrices is combined into one single step where a user only needs to feed the patch fast queue data in order to receive a count matrix. In the downstream analysis on the right, you have your standard filtering QC step, followed by normalization and confounder removal to boost the biological signal whilst reducing variation from unwanted technical and biological sources, such as library size, amplification bias, and cell noise. Dimension reduction, such as PCA, TSNE, and UMAP is then applied followed by clustering such as K-means, hierarchical, Louvain, Leiden, and others. This yields cell clusters in a nice 2D or sometimes 3D plot whose relationships and lineage with respect to one another is inferred by cluster proximity and cluster entropy. The teaching structure emulates the analysis structure with the pre-processing and downstream grouped as separate tutorials. Users first start with a video introduction to single cell as narrated by Amazon Polly and then they can opt towards understanding barcodes and demultiplexing, or can go straight into one of the three pre-processing workflows which will produce a count matrix for them. They can then choose from these four downstream trainings to analyze their data, such as Race ID, Scampi, and Monocle, and expert users can even spin up a Jupyter or R Studio notebook within Galaxy and manually inspect their customs themselves, making use of the vast compute resources compared to their laptop. Our materials and tools have grown significantly over the past few years thanks to the combined efforts of several members in the community where we now have 12 different tutorials grouped into four different stages making use of over 70 different tools. This single cell omics workbench of tools and trainings is greatly extendable and as the field develops so will the workbench. More tools and trainings are currently being developed such as those focusing on RNA velocity analysis for predicting the future states of the cell Whereas, as well as RNA deconvolution tools to infer cell states from RNA seq data. Each of the single cell tutorials comes with a corresponding workflow, and we have dozens of these to accommodate many different analysis strategies. As you can see, they are highly configurable with an intuitive drag and drop interface facilitating a branching analysis style that can make use of the 8000 processing cores and 1.5 petabytes of storage that we have for a Galaxy Europe instance here in Freiburg. Users never need to touch the command line and this easy to use graphical interface greatly encourages users to play with their data. Uh, users can then publish their data and their customized workflows following fair principles so that anyone can easily reproduce their analysis. And the existing materials can only continue to grow. Building off the core materials, we've expanded into case study training materials that replicate the findings of data sets from the literature, whilst providing an alternative means to pre-process the data using alignment-free tools such as Alivin. And this is quite powerful for the learner because this data sets travel from tutorial to tutorial and they give you messy real data that scientists have had to plod their way through, so it's quite a valuable experience. We've also made good use of the live environment, such as Jupyter and our studio notebooks within Galaxy. They enable us to explore single cell data sets with a greater degree of freedom and precision, and this empowers users to really make the most out of their analysis by harnessing the processing power of these environments that would not be possible on their personal laptops or desktops. On top of the existing materials, we have, quite frankly, loads more planned, uh, but for right now, we're focusing on two new suites of trainings. The first deals with RNA velocity analysis to predict future cell states of neighboring clusters. This is involving the SCVLO tools from the Scampi suite. And this is nice because normally we will infer relationships between the different cells, but this is actually using the RNA maturation to prove this, so it's much more powerful analysis.
This suite of trainings will work independently, but still be complementary to the Scampi trainings we already have in Galaxy so that users can generate their velocity analysis from raw FASTQ data with or without prior pre-processing or downstream analysis from the other workflows. The second suite of trainings will introduce RNA deconvolution tools into Galaxy, which aims to take bulk RNA-seq data and infer cell states and clusters from it as if it were native single cell data. Anyone who has their bulk data set and is balking at the price of doing single cell analysis on their cells is going to be quite excited about that. This data can then be used with the other single cell materials in Galaxy and ultimately will serve as a nice bridge between the RNA and the single cell RNA trainings we have in the Galaxy training network. Thank, Thank you very you much for listening. listening.